tomorrow I'm turning 20. And, you know, I think it goes back to when I was younger. You think of what you are going to be doing at certain ages in your life, experiences you will have hoped to had, things you've hoped to accomplish. And, but yet when you're young, I don't know, when even thinking about being 14 years old, thinking about being 20, uh, I remember guys in my life that were 20 years old, older friends, and there's just like, wow, that's so much older, and I can't imagine what I'll be doing, but now <laughs> I know what I'm doing at 20, and honestly, I'm scared. <laughs> honestly, um, 20, 20, I don't know, it marks kind of uh, a step into, I don't know, yeah, I, you know, I'm already an adult, but at the same time, being 20, it seems to have that much more pressure to it. But at the same time, I feel inadequate. Um, people often ask me and they give me questions saying, you know, how do you, how, how do you become so passionate about sharing the gospel and how do you, uh, you know, how are you so, have, have so much zeal um, in your faith? And honestly... It's not always like that. I don't feel always like I'm ready to take on the world with God and I'm just ready to share the message and like, and, you know, and do all this great stuff and just, you know, go for it and just trust in God and that kind of thing. A lot of the times I just feel like, what am I doing? What is going on? I'm scared. Like, I don't, I don't have these tools. I don't have these skills. I don't have these talents. I don't I, like, have this stuff. But at the same time, I know God's put me where he's put me for a reason. And that's what I tell people is like, God's got you where he's got you for a reason. And yeah, you're inadequate. Yeah, you don't have all the tools necessary. Because if you had everything you needed in and of yourself, you'd never, you never pray. You never even think about God because you got it. You're, you know, but that's not where we're at. And when we can come to terms with that, and me, I'm coming to terms with that continually, and just saying, you know what? <sighs> yeah, I feel inadequate. Yeah, I feel scared. Yeah, I feel ill-equipped. But I know that God's got me. And I know that I can trust in God despite what I'm feeling. And, you know, there's a lot of things that I hope to do. And there's a lot of dreams that I have. And as I turn 20 years old tomorrow, um, it's one of those things where I'm just like, okay, it's time. It's, it's, it's time to do some stuff. But at the same time, I know God's got me here for a reason. And those things will come. But maybe they won't come. And that's okay. But at the end of the day, I know that I just want to be trusting in Christ. And I know I don't have everything I need. I'm not totally equipped to do everything I want to do. I'm scared out of my mind sometimes. I'm overwhelmed. And I know sometimes you guys are too. But when we can come to terms with those feelings, when we can come to terms with, with those experiences of that feeling of not being enough, of feeling like we're not doing enough, like we are not enough, we can rest in the fact that Christ is enough for us and he is ready to work through us despite all the stuff in ourselves that gets in the way. And despite our feelings of inadequacy, God is going to use us. But it takes that stepping out in courage. It takes that stepping out in faith to really do something and stop making excuses. Stop saying I'm behind. Stop saying I'm ill-equipped. Stop saying I, I, I just don't have it. Because you might be right. You might not have it. But God has it. And he can work through you. And, and <laughs> as I'm saying that stuff to you, I need to believe it myself. I don't have anything special. I don't have any unique, 
crazy gifting that is just, you know, out of this world. I'm not a genius. I'm not a... But I'm me. <laughs> and at the end of the day, that's what you got to give to God. You got to give God you. And that's all he asked for. And so, I mean, yeah, I know this. I've been rambling some. But I hope this has encouraged you guys. And as I turn 20 years old, um, I'm excited for what the future holds. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking about my age. And, um, well, there you go. This is the answer. Um, you don't need to ask anymore. But I um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you a lot more in the future. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day. God bless, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.